people complain that the breakfast I make are too small for them, those bre breakfast buns and Foreman McMuffins and whatever else you want to call it like that. So uh, this morning I'm going to make a big breakfast bun that I guarantee will fill up anything except maybe a pro football player or somebody doing pitching hay all day. To start with, I'm going to make it with bigger bun. Now this is the bun that we normally use for breakfast sandwiches and things like that. This is a Kaiser roll. It's uh, about the size of a hamburger bun, a little larger. You can also get Mexican Tolera rolls, which are the same size. But the main thing is it's uh, much firmer than a hamburger bun. And it works a lot better for breakfast. You start out by splitting the roll. And toasting it just like you would for any of the other breakfast sandwiches. Okay, the bun is in the toaster. This is what I'm going to put in with the eggs. There's green pepper, I mean green onions here, mushrooms, and some crushed corn chips, Fritos. Put those in there to start getting happy. And while I'm at it, I'm going to break and scramble these two eggs in a little milk here. cook much, just heat. Looks hot enough now. And put the egg mixture in there and let that start cooking. In the meantime, I'm going to get the bun over here. On it goes. One slice of deli ham, a slice of sausage, I mean a cheese sausage. I've got sausage on my mind this morning. Cheese. Another very thin slice of deli ham. This is sliced almost feather thin. So I'm going to use two slices of it. Two slices of cheese. Oh well, since I'm going big, I'll just use the third slice of cheese there. After all, I'm making a big breakfast this morning. Get all that out of the way. Check my eggs here. Yeah, they're cooking around the edges. Now, what I, what you want to do is rake the edge in. cut the size of it down to where it's going to fit that bun. It's going to be about the right size there. salt and pepper it. And 
my old ice cube tray. Throw an ice cube in there on the side and put a lid on it. And what will happen, that ice cube will turn to steam and cook the egg all the way through. Well, the egg's had about enough time to cook. Let's check it out here. We'll shake it. It is completely set. In the meantime, I kind of gathered up the ham a little bit more to fit this. We'll go on top of the egg. And turn the burner out. And top with the other half. Don't know how to pick this puppy up. It's so big. And it's hot. But there you are, one huge breakfast sandwich. In fact, it's big, there's no way I could eat it. So what I'm going to do is cut it in half and it'll feed both, both me and my wife. And there's our big breakfast sandwich.